In this video, I will show you how to get Capital Freighter S class after No Man's Sky Echoes update and how to get the best Capital Freighter ever found in No Man's Sky because this Capital Freighter it's gonna be square for supercharged. I want you to know since No Man's Sky added supercharged in the game, no one ever found the square for supercharged freighter. So this gonna be the first defrater ever found the square for supercharged. So right now we need to talk about capital freighter. After last update, No Man's Sky changed how to get capital freighter. And if you actually inside the target system and you try to reload inside the station in target system, the capital freighter disappear. After I did test for a few hours, I actually found a way to get the capital freighter. It's a very old way, but it's actually the only one still working. It's just a little bit difficult. There is two type of capital freighter in No Man's Sky: Venator freighter and the Sentinel freighter. The one we gonna get today is Venator Freighter. So right now, without wasting any time, we need to go to get the best Venator Freighter. The capital Venator Freighter I'm gonna show you, it's inside Euclid Galaxy. That's the starter galaxy. And right now, we need to find the portal inside Euclid Galaxy. If you want to know how to find the portal quick, I will put video right now on the screen for you or down in description. After you find the portal, please make sure you disable your multiplayer and you need to make sure you have at least 200 million units. The capital freighter it costs from 50 million to 178 million. I will put glyph for the best capital freighter ever found in No Man's Sky, square 4 supercharged. So make sure you take a screenshot of this glyph after I finish. You will land on icy planet with extreme storm. So right now we inside the target system. And to be able to get the capital freighter inside the target system this system, we will have to trigger the rescue mission. It is the only way to get the capital freighter. And to be able to trigger the rescue mission, you need to play 3 hours game time. And you need to warp 5 time. Just to make sure you have a space compact on standard. If you don't have it at least on standard, it will prevent the mission from trigger. Just in general, if you don't want to trigger the mission in the wrong system, you can just disable the space compact. But if you want to get the freighter, make sure it's on standard or hostile. Right now, let's get the freighter. We need to go to the space. And we need to go to the galaxy map. You can see right here, I'm inside the target system. We need to take a note of the name of the system, because that's where we're gonna get the freighter. And right now, we need to go to any neighbor system nearby. I'm gonna show you why. And we need to go to space station right away. And we need to create a restore point in the station. Right now, that is the most important part. I already spent 3 hours, I just need to warp 5 times to trigger the mission. But make sure you create restore point from every system you warp to until you trigger the mission. And I'm gonna show you what to do next after you trigger the rescue mission. I'm just gonna go to the space and keep warp in neighbor system until I trigger the rescue mission. You can see the rescue mission got triggered in neighbor system. We need right now to reload restore point. I just came back from restore point and this is this station here. This is the last this station I created restore point. Right now we know the next warp will have the rescue mission. We need to go to the space now. I do recommend to have good ship for this. And we need to go to the galaxy map. And we need to go to the target system now. The rescue mission and the freighter we want is there. Because the system we gonna get capital freighter, it's the outlaw system, there is a chance we can summon the pirate freighter next to the capital freighter we want. So let's see. You can see the freighter we want right here. It's in front of us. And we got also pirate freighter. 
So to be able to get this freighter we want, we need to destroy the pirate freighter first. You can watch me to see how to do it. We need to take down the hyperdrive first. And we need to take the shield and the turret. And after we destroy the pirate freighter, you can see the capital freighter next to us here. We need to go and visit the capital freighter and see what class it is. No matter what will happen, don't try create restore point in the same target system. It will make the boss freighter disappear. Let's see. You can see this freighter is C class. We want S class. We need to reload restore point to the last system. I'm back now to the neighbor system. If we go to the space, and we need to go to the galaxy map, we need to go to the target system again. Our capital freighter should be there, and the pirate freighter as well. You can see the freighter we want right here, and this is pirate freighter again. We need to destroy the pirate freighter again. I'm gonna do it quick. I destroyed the pirate freighter. We need to visit the capital freighter again. And the class will it change. Let's see. You can see it's another C class. The class did it change but it's another C class. Remember we are inside Outlaw Station. S class 5%. C class 85%. We need to reload restore point to the last system. I just got back from restore point neighbor system. Let's go to the target system now. And we need to do the same thing again until we get S class. You can see our freighter is still here and the pirate freighter again. I'm just gonna destroy the pirate pretty quick and we can visit the freighter. I did destroy the pirate freighter. Let's go to our capital freighter we want and let's see what class it is. You can see it's A class right here. I'm gonna do the same thing until I get S class. It might take me a few minutes. Okay, let's see what class it is. And I got S class. I finally got S class guys. Let's go to the captain. What just happened? I'm not sure what was that and what happened exactly. It did really freak me out. Let's go to the captain so we can get it. We need to offer by the freighter. This freighter, it's gonna be square for supercharged. We will have to upgrade the inventory to be able to see the last one. You can see it's red and gray color. We can change the color anything we want. I'm gonna move everything to my new freighter. After we moved everything here, we can just exchange it. Yes, please. We need to move the base as well. And we got it. And now this is our freighter. I had to reload restore point to the last system 11 time. So the only way to get the capital freighter right now is go straight to the freighter from the last system. Don't try to create a restore point in the same system. So now you can get any capital freighter like that. You can just destroy the pirate freighter or just destroy the pirate ship if there is pirate ship. You just need good ship with max upgrade and it's actually pretty easy. You can customize the freighter any color here. 
I would like actually black color. It looks very good on the freighter. I'm gonna show you the freighter in a second. And we can use the new engine as well. Yes, I like it. Let's try to upgrade the supercharged here. And you can see the square for supercharged. This is the first freighter ever found in No Man's Sky Square 4 Supercharged. This is really unbelievable. I can't believe we finally found one. So if you want to get the best upgrade for this freighter right here, make sure you watch this video. It will show you how. I love you guys and see you guys next time.